$70 for dried up dead flowers. But they don't look dead, they look very pretty. I feel like the front porch needs more Halloween. And um, so I'm looking at like maybe getting like some mums or some like hay bales and corn stalks, you know, go, go the whole way. Um, so we're gonna go to my mom's favorite store. So I'm sure you guys will like it too. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see what we can find there right after we grab lunch because lunch is important. I'm getting a little hangry, it's noon. <laughs> Okay, well, baby Laurel is ready to go shopping, aren't you, baby Laurel? Look, mommy didn't button your uh, onesie all the way. <laughs> oh no, the sun! Andrew has found the birds. You wanna go look at the birds? You don't see enough birds at our house, huh? <laughs> Let's go look at the birds. Hello! Are there little budgies? Oh, they're so cute! Hello! Hello! That one over there is like looking weird. Hello, little budgie. What's wrong with his neck? Hello! Hi! You're so pretty! Pretty bird! Okay, so everyone who's upset about Halloween already being in the stores. I absolutely love the display though, it looks great. It's getting me in the mood for Christmas, I'll tell you what. Ho, ho, no. Ho, That's ho, no. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this is about it for Halloween. A lot of it is already Christmas. These are really neat over here. <laughs> Just has Christmas lights in it. Daddy just save you from the lantern fly? I think he did. Look at all those bees. See if you can find the queen. These planters are absolutely adorable. I walked right by them too. Is this supposed to be Harry Potter or just a person with glasses? I like those ones for the sun porch though. Well, I know it's not what we came here for, but I kind of love these little succulents. Hmm. We'll grab one of these little guys. I'm thinking maybe I jumped the gun on mom's a little bit because none of them are actually flowering. <laughs> These are supposed to be yellow. Sunset orange. That's the one we need. Oh, Hang this off the handle. Alright, I will carry them on. So this wreath right here is $69 and I think I'm going to get it for the front yard. They have a black wreath that's like perfect for Halloween, but it's $89 and I'm just thinking in my head, I could probably find that one at Goodwill. <laughs> but this one, I don't know what my chances would be of finding this at Goodwill and it's cheaper than the other ones. I think I'm going to grab this dried flower wreath for our door. Black one I like. Like I said, it's $89 and I'm just not, I see these at Goodwill all the time, so I just can't stomach it. $70 for dried up dead flowers. But they don't look dead, they look very pretty. Dried up dead flowers. The last time. A whole yard full of that stuff. For free. <laughs> but I can't make it into a pretty wreath like that. Laurel, what are your thoughts? She's not probably about having enough as much as I have. She's ready to go. Alright, should I put the wreath back? Well, no, if you want to get it, I just. I, because when I find the dried flower wreaths at Goodwill, they're always broken and nasty. Oh, okay, we're done. It's a little bit crowded today, but we're going to do our best. So we're going to start with this amazing basket right here. <laughs> $2.99. I feel like the basket is probably made in China or something. And someone added this decoration onto the front, but I absolutely... Love. I love. 
and the mushrooms and the bunnies. So that's going in our cart. Is a little carved wooden doggy over here. It looks like this is somebody's um, carved doggy. It's probably a uh, antique mall piece somebody donated. I love seeing these at the Goodwill because it means that somebody emptied out their antique mall booth and chances are we're going to find more. Look at this. $2.99. It looks like a husky maybe. It is carved. I love to carve pieces. We're off to a great start. I wonder what pattern this is. <laughs> we may never know because it's all covered in Goodwill stickers. Made in England by Parker Brothers Limited. So I just picked up an Indian tree pattern set the other day, and so I'm a little bit reluctant to be picking up anything else so soon, but... But... I think this is a great pattern for Thanksgiving. How many do we have? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five bowls at $2.99 each. Three, six, eight plates how much the plates are. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. $2.99 for the plates. And then this is what I'm really like digging is this right here, the gravy boat. I'm gonna stick the gravy boat in here for now. Even though I'm really tempted on the rest of it. Um, we'll wait and we'll see if it's still there when we're done. What is this? I have no idea what that says. It's like an art piece. Here is a ducky. <laughs> $2.99 on the duck. God bless our camper. Oh my gosh. I think I might get this for my parents. It's so not my parents, and that's what makes it so spectacular because they camp a lot. So I'll get this as a gift and just to see their reaction to it. it is the artwork. It looks like a lot of um, mass produced stuff. I don't really see anything exciting except for that cat picture right there, but I don't need it. We have a sun and a moon. These are great. They kind of make me think made in Mexico. They're $6.99 each, but I know they're worth quite a bit more than that, so I'm willing to pay the $6.99. I know recently a lot of people have been complaining about the prices at Goodwill, but if it's worth more than what they're charging, I don't see why not. Looks like Batik, but I don't think it is. I think it's something different. I think it's, um, I don't know what that is. I like it though. It does have some damage there. It kind of makes me think like 1970s acid trip. Not that I've ever been on a 1970s acid trip because I was born in the 80s. Some pretty dried flowers. Oh man, they're always falling apart <laughs> in the frame. Let's check out this shelf right here. I kind of already went through here, but I like this. The umbrellas. Marking is probably hidden underneath the Goodwill tag, though. All right, let's move on to the next aisle. We're making out pretty well today. What is this? Rooster. There's a sleeping angel. Rainbow candles. This is giving me weird vibes, but I feel like you're supposed to put it in the freezer. Goodness, I just ordered a bunch of these off of Amazon. I'll wait for my Amazon bottles though. There's a little ginger jar. What is it marked? Hegel? Japan Imports. HH. I'm used to seeing HH and thinking Holt Howard. What is this? Naughty. Ooh. This side says nice though. Naughty and nice. You decide. Oh, it's a coffee mug. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Just shut off my camera as I noticed these guys. Do you think those glow? I think they might. And I just so happen to have a new black light in my purse. So, wait, I'd actually, I actually, the battery might be dead, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Here we go. Ready? Come on, you know you got a little juice left in you. Oh, look at that. Those glow. Yes, they do. Okay, we'll grab those. I like the texture of that. What is that? Handcrafted in China. It's plastic. Let's see what this is down here. Because it's kind of pretty. Yeah, it's signed on the back, $3.99. I like the design of it, but $3.99, I just don't feel like it's worth it. All right, checking over this shelf. 
this has some iridescence to it, kind of like a carnival glass. I'm not really quite sure what it is. And I can't quite peel the sticker. Oh, there is a marking underneath the sticker, though. It looks like um, Imperial Indiana. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, but it's icy. It's $4.99, but it is carnival, and it's a pretty blue carnival. There isn't much in there, except for this. This is cool. I'll take this. $1.99. Reminds me of the um, Golden Venture folk art. There are a few oil lamps, but um, what do they say on them? They say something. <laughs> Can't quite read it. It's hidden under the sticker, too. Oh my gosh. Am I going to peel a sticker today? I might. It says Acadon Limited. I don't think that is anything special for $6.99, so I'm going to leave that behind. This is awfully shiny. But that is made in Japan, and I don't know. It doesn't really strike me as being the best of quality, so we'll leave that. No pretty, that's... Oh, is that ceramic? I thought it was turned wood. But no, it's painted to look like wood. It's ceramic, it's $3.99. It has this really pretty floral pattern on it for $3.99. Uh, you know what, I walked by this the first time, but the second time I was like, I kind of like the flowers and the coloring on that, so we will put that in our cart. All right, I'm going to venture down this aisle next. Looks like we've got something going on here. I actually have shot glasses of the same pattern. They're a lot smaller. I don't know who makes this, and it's been driving me nuts. That's why I haven't listed the shot glasses. Here makes me happy because he kind of looks like a hound dog. He's got devil horns. <laughs> is he a hound or is he a lab? Maybe he's a lab. $2.99 on him. Here is the clear section. I try not to dismiss it, but I don't usually get excited when I come through here. What is this? Kind of looks like an apron, but no. It's Connecticut Huskies. What kind of... 10 years of Big East basketball. Of course, I knew that. Then we have some Mount Olive uh, bread and butter pickle jars. $1.99 each. I feel like you can get full ones probably for that price. Oh my gosh, look. That's exciting. We found another little leaf. Okay, so now we know we're searching the shelves to find more of those the only one I had seen so far here in the clearest section. Let's look at this. That is Mikasa, and there is a sled on there. I'm not quite ready for Christmas, though. I'm still trying to decorate for Halloween, so I'm sure we'll get there eventually. In colors. <laughs> like, what is that, a cupcake? No. It's colors for a cupcake. This chocolate. Ooh, oh my gosh, I just, I almost threw the shepherd off the shelf. I pretend that didn't happen. Um, this is obviously still here. Here is a candlestick. I was going to say, that one looks more like a hobbyist piece than a left-in piece. Sometimes I do get them confused, though, because they do look very similar. Here is another one of those antique mall stickers. This one apparently was priced at $5. This was priced at $18. This is chalkware. I thought it was wood at first, but it is chalkware. I do kind of like him. I may take him with me. These $1.99 each. Alright, what is this? $3.99. Okay. We'll take him for $3.99. There's a little dish. What is this? This is Presbyterian Church. First Presbyterian Church, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, $2.99. That is likely a local piece. I'm not sure that'll do me very good on um on eBay. This is Capsco made in Japan, $1.99, but it is a salt and pepper shaker. And its friend is missing. It's a pretty pattern. I don't recognize that. Liberty Bell, $8. It was $8, now it is $4.99. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Somebody scratched off their names before that was donated. There's somebody's unfinished artwork. This one looks like it may have been a clown. This is something very unique. I don't think I need any of unfinished canvases. Is this made in Hong Kong? So some of these are actually, um, I think they're Dalton, maybe? But they can be worth pretty good money. They're tumbling angels, though. They're not, like, wall angels. 
is a little piece of Bristol glass, it looks like. This one is $6, and I like the painting on that. You can see remnants of a sticker on the bottom. I'll take that as well. Here's another piece from somebody's antique booth. Uh, $6 on this one. Yeah, oh my gosh, they wanted $6 in their antique booth, and it will has it for $6.99. Yeah, I just don't know about that. Yeah, kind of like that pattern. All right, it looks like I found the praying hands, but these are more like the cupping hands, not necessarily praying hands. So I may that might be half a point, but probably not a full point. What do we have down here? That is made in Italy, but there is a giant chunk out of it, so we're gonna leave that one behind. Ooh, are these West Germany? They're divided plates. I think they might be. Let's check the back. Let's see. I don't see any markings on the bottom. I picked up one not long ago. It was red, um, and it was West Germany. And these are the exact same shape, but they're white. I'm a little tempted to grab those. I don't know. I mean, I think they'd make probably a better paint palette than a eating plate, unless you're one of those people that does not like your food touching and then this would be ideal for you, but I think I'm gonna keep moving and I may come back to it, not making any promises. Really hoping to find another one of those little shells, so I'm gonna do another quick go of this shelf and see if any other jump out at me, but um, we might have to go check the other, the other shelves because I'm not seeing any. What is this? Ruffian, Locust Hill Farm. I don't know, Bowie something, Maryland. Adorable, I'm not really quite sure what's going on here. Made in China. It has this faux crazing on it. That is so cute. Now we missed this owl, although it is not made of wood, it is made of resin. He's very cute. If I was buying him for myself, I'd probably grab that, but I'm not going to. This is Austria. I feel like he's missing all of his friends though. And a banana. Oh, it's the lid to something. I wonder if the rest of it is somewhere. That is a banana lid. To succeed in business. Tell me your secrets. I don't get it. Oh, screw everybody. That is a fun gag gift. Andrew would probably get a kick out of that. <laughs> $3.99. I think it's worth it. Andrew looks like wants to be vintage but um, we were just over at Ashcombs which is this local like farm and garden place and they had a lot of planters that looked like this <laughs> I thought those were uh, uranium glass but they are not do you think we can no we obviously cannot the whole thing will go over this is vintage trivet 199 I like it but I just don't know if there's much resale value there since I'm back in this aisle, I'm going to peel the sticker. I'm going to look these up. Here it is on replacements.com. Burger Brothers Limited Bab for cup and sauce over 20 bucks. But um, replacements usually ask more for it than you can get it for on eBay. So if they're asking 20 for this, I imagine it's probably 8 to 12. And um, I think I'm going to pass on it. <laughs> There's another one. It's a little baggy here. It doesn't look terribly exciting though. Um, since I found one of the little uh, pink shells, I'm gonna check the pink aisle and see if there's any more of those. This is also sort of the red aisle. What do we have here? Photo memory album. All right, no more shells. Oh, there we are, 199. All right, that was a very fun roll of ribbon. What does it say? Two something, $4.99 for all of that. And if I was a crafter, I think that that would be a really good deal. What is this? Post-its? I don't know, it looks like Mickey. Here is a parrot hook for $2.99. I do kind of love him. I might put him in here. I feel like I'm going to have to review my cart when we're all done because I have quite a few things in there. I kind of like that 
mug. It has a nice feel to it. My goodness, somebody actually glued those two together. $3.99. What is the purpose of gluing these together? You can actually see the hot glue there. Um, I'm gonna head over and check out lamps now and um, then we'll do purses. There you go, there's the lamps. <laughs> they usually don't have much. And uh, these are all fairly modern resin lamps. This is funny, I actually had a copy of this once. Albert Hubbard's scrapbook. <laughs> it's crazy to see it again. The music is really loud right here by the purses, but I really didn't see much when I was walking up. I don't know if we're gonna find anything in purses today. So I guess I'll get back to you guys in the car. All right, so it is time for the cart review. And I feel like there are a few things that I'm going to put back. The artwork being one of them. I'm gonna head back towards the frames and stick that back on the shelf. I put the artwork back on the shelf and I think that everything else in the cart we are going to take with us. Our total spend there at the Goodwill today was $54. And um, we did great right off the bat. Walked right in, found that really cool folk art basket with the mushrooms. I mean, what more can I ask for? Mushrooms uh, right in the door. So uh, I also really love that moon and stars that we found. Um, but I think I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head on down the road. I'm out this way, so I'm gonna head up another Goodwill. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed.